0 for 6 on two point attempts since last season. The only team in that span not to convert a two point try. Conversely, Carr is 7 and 2 in his overtime career, the most wins of any quarterback since entering the league in 2014, which suggests maybe he'd have been better off in overtime than going for the two. We're, we're going to lose, Jeff. I wanted to get this way. <laughs> plug, that in, gonna... plug that into the analytics. What, whatever those numbers were, the 0 and 6 is 21 and that 7 and 2 over. Here, here's the thing. Make them, <laughs> make them beat you. Yeah. Like, make them beat you. I, I, I get it. Like, I. I Make the Chiefs offense go down and actually get points. Don't allow them to have the, the, the victory if they don't do anything but sustain drives. I, it just frustrates me to no end. Again, make them beat you. I can live with it. I, I hate that call. I hated the Chiefs one before that. I just I don't, I don't understand. It's an extraordinary game with so many different uh, moments of drama, but there's two that we really need to focus in on. This is the first of them. Then we'll get to the roughing the passer. Marcus, what did you think of the Raiders' decision? Again, there's four and a half minutes left. An extra yeah. point ties the game. The two-point conversion gives them the lead, but still all kinds. I mean, eternity for Patrick Mahomes and company. What did you think of going for the two? Yeah, I'm changing, y'all. Um, I'm not ad, as adverse as uh, Jeff is, but I also understand last night we were texting through the NFL Live uh, group chat, and this was about 50-50. That's what me and the time said. The model shows you about 50-50. And I lean towards being an old-school football player when it comes to things like this. So I understand where Jeff is coming from. I think you tie the damn game and try to win the game at 0-0 as opposed to being down. There's a mental piece to this, too, as players. Like, you still looking at the scoreboard and you down yeah. one which adds an amount of pressure that you don't necessarily think you're dealing with, but you are if you're the Las Vegas Raiders. So I would have kicked the field goal, but I'm not going to go crazy because the analytics community always want to oh. punch us in the face when we start talking about <laughs> stuff punch like me. Well, well, <laughs> I won a lot of games. Let me punch say me. this. Punch me. If I'm going to get punched in the face by Jeff Saturday and Marcus Spears or the analytics community, <laughs> you would pick that. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Represented here today by Mr. Foxworth. <laughs> what did you think? Yeah, I, I'm a nonviolent person. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But I do think in that situation, it was fine because they missed it and they still got the ball back yeah. with a chance to win. So, like, I get it. There are some situations where I lean towards the football community or whatever that is versus the analytics one. But in that one, I think you go for it because they still ended up with a chance to win if Hunter Renfro is not tackling his own teammate. <laughs> Quick final word. Yeah, look, I mean, either you could look at it as like, hey, we might not get the ball back, so let's try and win the game here. Or you can look at it like you're saying, like four and a half minutes. We, we probably will get the ball back. It's about – they felt good about that run game and Josh Jacobs and the way it was working last night. They thought they could get two yards. I don't have any – you know, Herm Edwards didn't say you play to tie the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm sorry. So, so there's that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.